So today I'm just really, really happy that I'm going to be able to give my favorite course next semester as well, well on Latin American politics and development. It's an enormous topic on a large region. Actually, one of the first things you'll learn in this course is that Latin America is not a continent. It's a region and it stretches across two continents. But the way we do it is that we divide uh, the course into four sections and in each we discuss a few countries. We'll start with state building, inequality and violence and we'll focus on Mexico and Colombia. We will try to give you some answers to the question, why is Latin America so violent? And I'll promise you, you'll learn more from this than from three seasons of Narcos. That's a big promise. Then um, we will look at uh, economic thinking and practice on economic development. Latin America is the cradle of so much interesting thinking on economic development. It hasn't always gone as it pl was planned in practice, but we'll look at cases of both success and failures. We will focus here on Argentina, Chile and Ecuador. And then we are moving into a large issue on politics and democracy. Here we cannot escape focusing particularly on Venezuela and Brazil, particularly this year. I'm not going to explain to you why Bolsonaro was elected, but maybe give you some of the background and we'll look at a lot of other experiences. And then the course ends with Latin America in international relations. We will discuss the relationship to the United States. Well, we can't escape uh, talking a little bit about Mr. Trump, but we'll also look at the relationship to China, to Russia, to Europe, and of course the regional relations in Latin America. I was just really heartened last year to see that my students thought this course was almost as fun as I did and I really hope it's going to get even better next year.